Hello everybody, Steve Griffiths here, developer of the MT Predictor software program. In today's MT Predictor video, I'd like to have a look at our W3 or Wave 3 trade setup with an example on the British pound uh, US dollar. But as usual, let's start with our risk disclaimer and remind you that all examples in these videos should be considered as hypothetical. No trades are actually taken, they're just shown for illustration and training purposes only. Remind you there's a risk of loss in trading and investing. We'll be looking at some losing trades in today's uh, video. As such, all professional traders must accept or understand and more importantly accept that losses can and will and do unfold. This important part of, of trading. There always will be losing trades. <coughs> right, let's have a look at an example uh, on the four hourly chart on the British pound and just show you what uh, our W3 or Way3 trade setup is. You can see here we have one um, a while ago on the, the British pound. So what exactly is it? Well I'm just going to put our, our major pivots on so I can show you in a bit more detail what it is. Right, basically what a W3 trade setup is, is trying to um, catch the wave 3 in a 5 wave sequence. So if I right mouse click down here and do Elliott Wave Major, you can see this is what we're looking to try and trade or catch, the Wave 3. Why do we like to do this? Well, because the Wave 3 is normally the strongest and longest wave in a completed five wave sequence, therefore represents the largest profit potential for the smallest initial risk. If I just take that off, we go back a stage. What do we know about um, the start of a Wave 3? Or in this case, the end of a wave two. Well, wave two is an Elliott uh, in Elliott wave uh, sequences normally unfold as an ABC pattern. So if I right mouse click here to Elliott wave intermediate, you can see the correction up here is an ABC. With this case, the high coming in at the typical wave three WPT. That then unfolds at the wave two. Again, if I put the Elliott wave major on, you can see that all together. You can see that unfolds the wave two, which then sets up for the uh, for the start of the wave three swing. So that's what we're looking to try and catch with our W3 trade setup. The end of a wave two that unfolds as an ABC pattern to then trade the wave three. So how do we start this? Well, in MT Predictor, we use uh, my unique isolation approach to Elliott Wave. In other words, we understand that markets go through cycles and they're basically random half the time. That's why most Elliott Wave uh, traditional sort of Elliott Wave teaching doesn't work because you can't really put all the patterns in together and make the uh, Elliott Wave patterns uh, fit sequentially and in um, in with each other because the times when the market pattern is quite random. So if we go back a bit before that, you can see that it's very difficult to um, find out what the Elliott Wave pattern is before that. So how do we do it? Well, we use Elliott Wave patterns in isolation. In other words, we start them at a logical start point. And how, how do we define that? Well, how we do it is we go to the higher time frame chart. So here I'd go to the daily chart. We then look for support or resistance areas using our DPs. Remember, DPs go on the chart in advance. They're leading indicators that they're before the market even gets there. There'll be other videos showing that. So on the British Pound, we've been following this for a while in our MT Predictor customer training webinars. And what we did was we used the DP from this high here. Why do we do this? Well, because this was the last swing into the low. So if I right mouse click here, we do DP. This gave us an area of resistance. So as the market was rallying up here, we knew this was an area of where a high could possibly unfold. As you can see, the market came up into there quite nicely and that uh, produced the high. So then when we come down to the shorter time frame chart, can you see how there's our high coming in at higher time frame resistance. In other words, the market is making, making a meaningful reversal at higher time, time frame DP resistance. So that's where we start our sequence. So therefore, the initial decline down here would be wave one. We then look for the ABC correction into a wave two to then look for the wave three and that's exactly what the patterns unfolded. So that's what our W3 or Way3 trade setup is designed to unfold. So is it a high probability trade setup? Uh, well, no it isn't because I don't believe high probability trade setups really unfold in the market. Why we like this one so much is because it has a high potential profit to initial risks. So if I just clear everything off here and I'll show you what I mean by that. Because if we go back a bit, can you see there's some history triangles here? In other words, there were some potential trades that unfolded at the time. For example, if I use our training mode, I go back, jump to here. 
you can see there was another potential trade set up so if we place our analysis on here and then move forward this particular case that only went one tick below the the bar there so it didn't actually take you into a short trade so there wouldn't have been any trade there because remember for forex we like to have a little bit more wiggle room uh, for our entries uh, so that's why even though there's a history triangle there that would not have been an executable trade you can see it did not go through the entry trigger so I'll just clear that off if I go forward a bit you can see here was another potential trade setup let's have a look at this one this time this would have been filled should have been entered into a potential new short trade remember use we we use correct position sizing to keep our initial risk small under control in other words vary the number of lots contracts or shares lots in this case uh, for a 2% risk of less than a sample $20,000 account. Let's go forward. You can see that would have just been stopped out, just came up there, would have stopped you out. So that would have been a losing trade. As I said right at the start of the, uh, the, uh, the video, in the risk disclaimer, losses can and will and do unfold. It's not about avoiding the losses, it's about keeping the losses small. So here, this loss here would have been a 1R or 1 risk unit loss. We then go forward, you can see there was another W3 cell set up on that uh, red cell bar. We placed the analysis on, there's our entry. And actually this one wouldn't have actually been filled. Can you see that? There'd have been no fill on that, so that wouldn't have been a trade, unless you'd have redone it to that really small bar there. If you had have done, you'd have gone above the um, stop trigger before going back down, so that would have been invalidated anyway. So there would be no trade there. We then had another trade set up here and this then gave us our last potential trade set up. So if I now turn trading mode off you can see that was the eventual high and the market has declined nicely ever since. So why do we like it as a good trade setup? Well as you've seen here even though there were three history triangles there would have only been one losing trade. So yes losses can come through but the losses are kept small. How do I mean small? Well that was a one hour loss but look at the potential profit if the market gets down to its typical way 3 WPT target. The potential profit here would be approximately 10R or 10 times the initial risk. This is why we like these trade setups. Not because they have a high percentage of winners, but because when the winners come through, the profits are much, much larger than the losses or initial risks at the start. So as we've seen here, there was a losing trade, kept small at minus 1R. If this unfolds as anticipated and it gets down to the typical way 3 WPT, the profit would be approximately 10 times the initial risk. This is why, we, again, we like this because the way 3, as I said earlier in the video, is normally the strongest and longest in a completed five wave sequence, therefore represents the largest potential profit in relation to the small initial risk because we try to catch the end of the wave 2 or the start of the wave 3 to get into your strong uh, wave 3 swing. As I outlined yesterday, managing this now would be um, a little bit interesting because if I go back to our daily chart, there's the last swing into the high. If I right mouse click here, here's a potential DP support on the daily chart and as you can see the British pound has just entered this at the moment. So if I go back to our shorter time frame chart, you can see we're in our daily DP support. So if you're managing it, you may well want to bring your stop a little bit closer, perhaps use our ATR stop to see whether you can come back down to uh, this last target. So we'll have to see over the next few days whether we do actually reach this typical way 3 WPT target. But either way, even if you do get stopped out now at the ATR stop, it will still be 7.5R profit, which is a very, very good trade indeed. So this is why I wanted just to present this video, just to show you what our W3 or way 3 trade setup is. And as we've outlined, it's trying to catch the end of the wave two or the start of the wave three to then trade the, the wave three which is normally the strongest and longest wave in a completed five wave sequence as such represents the largest potential profit for the small initial risks. Losing trades will come through but they're kept small. Our unique isolation approach to uh, Elliott Wave means that we understand that markets are random probably more than uh, just over 50 percent of the time therefore we look to see when the market pattern is clear I the, uh, the pattern or the market comes out of its random phase to then start to do our analysis. That's what I mean by our unique isolation approach to Elliott Wave and we do that when the market makes a meaningful reversal of higher time frame support and resistance. In this case you can see the, the daily uh, DP resistance there. So I hope this has been a good example to show you our Wave 3 trade setup in a nice uh, um, 
example that's currently unfolding on the British pound US dollar for our chart.